All right. So I'm going back here. I don't see. David, uh, I have a yeah, additional Shaz, uh, yeah, feedback Shaz. on this. Um, yeah, yeah, Shaz. Uh, so St Department of State, federal government jobs give, especially Department of State gives priorities for grantees of their program. So return Fulbrighters would be on their top list of hiring. Shaz, do you know if NCE now applies, is still, is still going to work for these, for these return Fulbrighters, non-competitive eligibility? Yes, I think that I read that somewhere. I should look for that and send it to everyone. Yeah, if you can confirm that. Uh, so non-competitive eligibility. We do have NCE. We got a letter stating that it begins from March 19th when the program ended until March 19th of next year. Fantastic. So NCE actually until recently was not available to Fulbrighters. It was something because I work with the Peace Corps community. Peace Corps volunteers always thought was a really important thing for them because they come back and they get this preference. But now Fulbrighters have it. So what that basically means is that a job has to be, this is US government jobs, and they have to be designated that way, that they uh, either accepting or it's an NCE kind of a job. I think there's some designation that exists there. That basically puts you at the, at the, top, of the top of the list, basically. And in fact, what I'm always told by government people, if this is an NCE job or NCE eligible and you apply, there's not much they can do. They're gonna hire you kind of a thing. 